This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with another episode of XCOM Enemy Unknown. In the last episode, we saved the special someone for uh, the, the Dark Council. Or, I think they're just called the Council. But anyway, someone that they cared about. Actually, we don't know. I'm just making up my own own story. It's hard to say. Probably important figure, seriousness, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, we are gotten back and now we're preparing. And we're always preparing. We can't just go. Just go. No, we can't just go. Alright, uh, let's see right now. Got multiple satellites on the build. So we got that. So four. Now covers for the hangar right now. And then we're building. Let's we'll see, we got the two. I'm waiting a couple of days to build another one because I'll that we'll still get like two or three after this build, which will be in a couple of days, so. Oh yeah, do I want to go and build that yet, or am I waiting? So that would give me a lot of power for the, and that might cover me for the rest of the game on that. Oh, a Castellarium, and we are pretty close on filling up in power though already. So it might be a good idea to start building that. Oh no, we want the steam. What am I thinking of? We want the thermal generator because that's the one for that you build on steam vents, and that's just a straight 200. And I am going to be. The reason for last episode is I didn't spend stuff because I wanted enough to, uh, um, I wanted enough to pay for those plasma, plasma things. But I might be able, I won't get a ton of money, but I might get enough to where I can sell a few things, like a couple of Thin Men, uh, to, to take care of that. So I think I want to go ahead and build the generator. Um, and it should take a while for it to be, be built, right? Oh, well, it's going to be built by the time the, the council does the report. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Uh, I think we're good, actually. I want to go and put out a... Launch a satellite while we're here. What we'll do... Kind of need to... See. Got two available right now. Um... We're going to get another one built here pretty soon, so let me go ahead and uh, get one there. I'll get a few extra, few extra buckaroos, buckaroo, or dollar redos, or whatever you want to call them. Alright, nothing else we can do but wait now, so. Excavation complete. Commander, our All satellite right. is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. So I need, I'm going to wait one more day to build another satellite. Um, see how many... A couple more days for that. They finish the excavation. Uh, see. What's currently... Increases research speed, which I don't... I don't really need... I'm almost done with research in general, so... I might might work on starting to do uh, uh, workshops. I should have I should have like uh, found a way to like build workshops or move them around to like build them back to back here. But uh, oh well. I think I'll go ahead and buy a build a, a workshop. Well, actually, do I want to wait till? Oh, that's right. I was gonna wait till uh, the council gave us a thing. So, oops. All right. Contact oh. detected. Whoops. I uh, uh, basically we uh, we uh, contact with a uh, with a UFO, so we're we're touching down. So. All right. Uh, I don't think I got any new weapons since. Do I want to? Do I want to bring the sniper again, or do I want to uh, swap someone else out? I mean, I would like to, uh, would like to get another, uh, sniper kind of, uh, fix if I want to do. Merit is still out, so I'm testing. Yeah, you know, we'll, uh, we'll try to. I'm trying to remember, I don't think I really got anything from the last episode that I need to be aware of. I 
guess I'm good. Now, apparently you haven't used your Psy ability a lot, but then again, your guy comes in with a frickin' shotgun to the face, so... Okay, let's do it. Yeah, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to skip when, when it went to that. It was just... I was just, like... I don't know, I was just pressing buttons. And, and uh... Yeah. Oh, well. Prepare for All right. Strike one. So we got a standard UFO mission here. Bag him and tag him. Reports indicate How, why the UFO you... set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Why haven't you taken them out, Germany? Oh wait, it's my job to do that. Isn't that very poor planning to have one organization take care of all this, uh, and not have multiple organizations or maybe multiple factions? I guess that's the point of having multiple bases in multiple countries. And of course, for gameplay reasons, it's got to be like this. But, uh, but I don't know. Then again, it's hard enough to get the rest of the world to work together. So why not on something that like this? And the sad thing is, I bet even people say in sci-fi stories, if we were attacked by aliens from outer space, that everyone would work together to fight these aliens. I don't know. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, big sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. That might be the pessimism in me, though, thinking like that, you know? Like, uh, because an optimist would be like, oh, well, you know, it's humanity and all that, and we'll, you know, we'll eventually work together even though we've fought each other for, for you know, centuries upon centuries over land now. and other such things. And with resources getting less and less, who knows what, what how worse it'll get when it comes to, like, you know, how much we'll, we'll, uh, we'll antagonize each other. Oh, yeah, this... I gotta remember, in UFOs where they've landed, they're a bit more likely to, uh... be a bit more aggressive or bum rush you and stuff like that, so I have to be careful aye about aye, moving too far without, a uh, Without going too far ahead, you know. Definitely want to get my snipers up to, uh... that little spot up at the top there, because that'll, uh... Um... Heading there now. That'll be a good vantage point for all my snipers to take advantage of height and all that. Let's see. Let's, where can we get you? Can we get you anywhere decent? Although if I did, it'd probably take me too far away or too far ahead. So, all right, we'll just we'll just move a modicum aye, aye, amount. Commander. All right. Nope. We don't want. I mean, yeah, you know, he moved. Why not? Doubt anyone's gonna be here, but you never know. Because I think last last time I had a UFO where it, it landed and I was attacking it, it uh, um, they like bum rushed or tried to bum rush me with cyberdis and all this other crap. And they're like, uh oh. Okay, it looks like no movement, so they're not quite ready to go. Yeah, this is where. Looks like the UFO is probably over there, I bet. So if I move up here, I'm probably going to activate a bunch of people. So I might wait to... I might wait to charge too far ahead. Because we probably have a good idea where they're going to be, so... Yeah, I haven't moved too far ahead, so just... Got to kind of uh, work our work our little magic here. Oh yeah, this mission will have to deal with most likely mutons and uh, sectoid commanders for sure, because usually that's who's inside the alien spaceships. It's a chance for the game to give you a few more opportunities to uh, um, yes, sir. get a, a alien commander for uh, either to for. Um, Autopsy or for uh, uh, stunning, so. Okay. Alright, overwatch it up. And then next movement phase will probably, we'll probably activate them. Or they'll move into our range, depending on how they're, this this time they're programmed. Up, oh, Cyber disc. Ooh, he's hiding. What a dick. So we've got... So that's not good. We've got cyber disks over there, and then we've got who's ever over there. So that's not a good sign. So 
might have to leave Hayabusa and Ryu where they're at because the aliens now have moved in there and moved back, so they, they know where we're at now. And then the fact that we have to worry about who's ever in front of the alien. Yeah, the alien craft looks like, yeah, from the the random shadow. Oh, it, it's a, it looks like it's a big one. Look at that thing. Uh-oh, we must be going against the next uh, next size class of a uh, of, uh, spacecraft. That's not good. That's dangerous right there. I'm on it, Commander. So maybe don't... Might want to deal with the cyber disc before we uh, move too far ahead to the actual site itself. You know, too bad I don't have the sword of omens. Oh, there we go. I knew we were going to activate them at some point. I should have let. I should have stayed so I could have gotten a, a Gretchen and. A, oh, she can't. S what? What? I don't believe you for a moment. I don't want to. Really don't want to activate anyone else though. Okay. Really, no one can see them. That sucks. Although. Technically, she can't see him. Doesn't mean I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can get those grenades up there. Get them. Although I could just have her Overwatch, but that might not hit that drone, though. I don't know, man. That doesn't look very, very plausible for damage-wise. It might not even hit the drone. It doesn't look like it. Might have to go in over, or Overwatch with her and wait till they get closer. And same thing with my. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I can see why she can't see him now, because that log's right there. So if we... They'd have to move pretty far forward for me to see them with my rifle snipers. The thing is, I'm afraid to, like, move just far enough to activate who's ever over there. And we're going to need more help anyway, so might as well just start getting everyone to move. There. Could go ahead with a smoke grenade. Let's see what. Oh, I over. I should have had him use the smoke grenade. Oh well. I'm almost hoping that they'll get close enough. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if overwatching will will be the best opportunity here. All right, for you. He might just throw a grenade, which would do damage, just finish it off no matter what. But there's three of them, and I'm not really taking on more than I, or I'm not be, I'm not gonna be able to damage more than I wanted to just because of a. Yeah, we'll overwatch with her. Um, okay, we're gonna go smoke grenade. I think probably a little early in this fight to be doing that, but. But better to try and have some defense than not, so. Alright, got some. Nuts. I didn't think they were gonna hit. Come on, move closer! Move closer! Dang it! He's got throw a grenade at him. Ow! Did 12 damage. Gee, many Christmas. <laughs> well, thanks, snipers. Thanks for finally hitting him. Wait. No, that is not Got him. Oh, good. High boost can get. He probably got. Oh, we. Oh, I had him on pistol. God. Lee. Damn it. Shite. Uh oh. Uh oh. More cyber discs. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well, at least now we've got... Now uh, Gretchen is uh, in a... That's why he got crit? Because he was flanked? Huh. Oh, wait, no. Ten's flanked. What am I thinking? Okay. All right. What? Who can he hit? Wait, can he not? It says I have targets. Are you kidding me? Oh, now I don't have targets? Screw you, game. Um, okay. Okay. So Gretchen has... What can she do? Can I get those 
dingleberries. Ah, come on, really? Just out of range to hit the the, the disc itself? Oh, that sucks. Come on, game. Not to cool. Well, at least she gets double damage on hitting this dork. If she actually hits. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, do do full damage. Yeah, suck it, Trebek. There, what do you what can you hit? So you can My Russo. Who can you hit? You can hit him or him. Either way would be good. Let's go ahead and finish off the drone. That way he doesn't heal the uh, cyber disc. Um Parker. He got hit pretty badly, so we'll uh I'll try to move him a bit further back. And then we're gonna heal you. Good thing I uh gave him that healing ability, which uh gives him uh eight HP, so Woo Yeah, at this point in the game we're gonna have to start we're we're gonna have to be really worried about stuff like that. Confirmed. Okay, you. Let's see, oh, he could suppress it, but I'd rather try to straight out kill him if I can help it. Okay. see people from here with how much damage can you ouch I can't see what his life too huh he's probably not gonna be able to finish him off with that with that damage I was hoping to see if I could kill it so I wouldn't have to waste a nuts well I guess I have to leave it up to a sniper dude to take care of him so oh well 95% should finish him off. Alright. Off to dangerous start with two cyber discs, but I think we've got... I think we're... Oh, we can... Oh, that's right. If I crit them or whatever, then... Or uh, I can uh, do it again. So let's take on this guy. Nice. Okay, so we still got... Oh, I can actually hit him from there. Oh, cool. Um, let's try to headshot him, see if we can... Uh, it's not guaranteed, though. We could... Oh, we could disable a shot. That way he doesn't... He doesn't fuck up anyone who... Uh, let's see, airborne. Bombard. I'm probably not going to be able to headshot him, though. Would I be able to say would it actually disable his main weapon? Let's find out. Okay, let's see if that works on him. I don't know if it does. I think it does. It shows an electrical shock on him, so he's probably Which means he can still throw grenades though and stuff like that, but those don't do as much damage as his straight up blast though. Uh oh, wait, what what the the hell? Oh, that was his drone. Okay. I was like what the fuck happened? <laughs> okay, yeah, Barry, we're just gonna have you move and reload, because you need to reload. Hayabusa. Yeah, you're a... Uh... Wait, do you really only have the one option? Oh, right, because I, I keep having him on this pistol for some reason. Yeah, let's go ahead and take out the... if we can hit it. Nice. More drones for us. Oh, he crit it, too. Nice. Okay, he's good. Parker's now healed. He can go in and help. If he can see it from where he's at. Yeah, everyone fire on that thing. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I'll save a. I'll save shotgunner for last if it really if it really comes down to it. 
See, it could. Let's see. How can this malfunction work, though? Probably like one or two rounds, I bet. What's her damage? Oh, she. Well. She might not hit it, but she'll give a 10% to everyone else, so probably should do that. That's missed. Gun dry. missed the target. Let's see, what is his damage totals? If he can up to seven, that might not kill him though. Would he be able to see him from there? Probably. I'm gonna run and gun him. And get him over there. Hopefully I'm not move too far to activate anyone else. Okay, good. 85 is pretty good, so let's try try it out. Okay, seven percent, and then have you you haven't moved? So if I move slightly closer, I might be able to. Although Peter almost got wrecked before by 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 this guy, so I don't know. Let's see if I what's he did. How much did he do? Twelve. Well, that would finish him off if he crits, though. Probably, that probably covers the tree probably covers that would I be able to see if I go over there though that's the thing I'm worried about is will I be able to see because I should be able to okay uh, 69% huh now let's take it yeah goodbye no goodbye la 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 Na 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 na, playing frisbee golf with your corpse. Okay, now we got who's ever actually inside the UFO. Oh boy, looks like this game, uh, this uh, the aliens are starting to throw all out bigger UFOs, more cyber discs, more cyber discs, and probably some Mouton Berserkers, I bet, in the wings. But find out what's inside the UFO next time on the next episode of UFO or UFO XCOM Enemy Unknown. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.